Hi, everybody. I'm going to teach you how to play piano today. You can hear the music going on in the background. It's pretty loud. Just ignore it. But listen to it, actually. Listen to it. All right. Let me talk to you for a minute. Let me pause this. All right. I'm going to teach you how to play piano today. Do you, want to know, do you want to know how I know how to teach piano? Because I taught myself. I'm sorry, I'm coming off as arrogant. I'm gonna teach you how to play piano, okay? Um, I think one of the most important things when you're learning how to play piano is like we need to do a little dis a disclaimer very quickly. I'm not going to teach you how to play Chopin or Mozart or Beethoven. I'm not gonna read you how to teach you how to read sheet music, although I could I could do that. I don't want to. That's not the right way to learn. If you really wanna learn how to play piano, you need to implement something that I've always called momentum learning, meaning you need a very tangible goal that if you accomplish that goal, you would be like, oh, shit, that's sick. Like, for example, like if you can play Mozart, I mean, I guess that's cool. It is cool. But if you can play a song by Halsey that all of your friends recognize on the radio, like they're like, I didn't realize you could play that on piano. Ah, now you get like social recognition. If you're a dude, you can pr impress girls or guys, like whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, um, you know, you're going to have to get this piano lesson. Here's your price of admission for the piano lesson. You need to put up with my bipolar ramblings. And if you can stomach that, I promise you, you'll get, um, you'll get lessons like every week from me for completely free. And they'll be better than any other lesson that you could buy. Promise. Um, and that's not me being arrogant. That's just stating facts. Um, I'm going to teach you the method that I think is good for learning how to play piano so that you don't just throw the piano down and be like, oh, I can't do this anymore. See, there's my piano over there. That's what we're going to learn on. I'm also testing out a new microphone, so forgive me. I don't know if it's even on or working. I don't care. Um, and then eventually I'm going to have to splice all these videos together um, in the iMovie app. So we'll figure that out. But anyway... So what's step number one of momentum learning? Step number one is you need a goal that's lofty but achievable. And it gives you a really big like social feedback and a good like reward type of mentality. All right. Sorry, I'm just warming up to the camera right now. Okay. Um, step number two is it needs to be in such small steps that you don't get discouraged. You build momentum. However, those small steps, you need to be able to recognize them in the song. Like you need to be able to like play, pluck a guitar st string, which I'll teach you. I can teach guitar later too, but I'm going to start with piano. You can like, because I can play the same Halsey song on guitar too. I'll t I'd, I'd love to teach you that one day. But you know, I got bipolar many years ago. I made some poor financial decisions and I sold all my guitars because I couldn't make rent. Uh, <laughs> Not not good. Um, I'm I'm glad I'm past that. I think so. Um, yeah. When I remember when I was first learning guitar, many like this was over. This was 15 years ago. I was learning like oh no, it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers song "The Other Side," which I don't recommend listening to. It's kind of a dark song, and um, but it's a very very straightforward, easy song to learn. Um, but for me at the time, it was lofty. But all I had to do was strike one note, and everyone could be like, oh, yeah, that's that oh, that's that song. Shit, can you play that song? And I felt it too. So today with the Halsey thing, I guarantee you, uh, I'm not big on guarantees, but I promise there's not very high likelihood that after the lesson today, just after today's lesson, if you sit down at your piano and replay this lesson and do it however you need to do it, it's going to be like probably a 30-minute lesson. Um I promise you, you'll be able to play something of Halsey's. Now, let me tell you something great about the modern like pop music that's really popular today. Typically, there are only four chords being played. Typically. That's just the way this type of droning pop music plays. Hip-hop as well. The great thing about it, though, is that we only need to know, learn four chords. What is a chord? A chord is simply two notes played at the same time. That's a chord. If you played one note at the same time, 
And what is a note? A note is one key, all right? I wish I could flip the camera around, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just gonna do it this way, okay? So, where am I? Here's C. Oh, damn, that's like backwards. I can't do that, all right? We're gonna, I'm gonna say that for the next part, okay? But essentially, because the camera slipped, then you'll think a C is an E, it's not good. So, a note is striking the one piano key. One piano key, whether it's white or black, it doesn't matter, that's one note. If you combine two notes together, that makes a chord. Typically, a full chord will be three notes struck together at the same time. That's a chord. You only need to play four chords in a pattern over and over again to play any of these songs. Eventually, you'll start to pick up patterns. Event, it's, it's just like speaking a language. I promise you guys, it's so, it's so easy. It's so easy. And yeah, I have so many people come up to me because I play by ear. And people think that's impressive, which I guess it is. But people will come up to me and they'll say, huh, I, you're just, you just have a special gift. No, I do not have a special gift. I have a special desire. I wanted it. I wanted to learn specifically how to play music by ear. That's what I wanted. And I'm telling you right now, up until this point, this would have been a perfect like infomercial for me to sell you a $50 course on pianos. Not going to do it, okay? Hello, kitty. You have to put up with my cat. You have to put up with a lot of shit. That's your price of admission. Um, so anyway, I, I know that this knowledge in the right hands is going to it's gonna change your life because you're going to have a piano. You're going to be able to play, play an instrument for the rest of your life. It's going to bring joy to your family. It's going to bring joy to yourself. Again, these are emotional benefits that could all be on a sales page. I'm not going to do it. Um, and I'm going to do this as often as I can, and people will get bored with it, but um, I'll make sure there's something for everyone. Like if you start to progress with my lessons, like you can come back next week. And if you want to hear like a top, whatever's popular that in pop music that, that week, I'll just make sure all the chords are in the description for you. Cause eventually you'll just learn, you'll memorize all the different combinations of chords. Okay. It's not, it's not too difficult. And I'm already getting ahead of myself cause I just want to be on the piano bench, but the way my camera set up, it's just not conducive for that. Maybe one day we'll figure out a way, another way to do it. Um, so let me give you some instructions. I wish I could type these out. Maybe I'll type them out in the description. If you want to learn how to play piano by ear, what you need you need to a have the a have the burning desire that you want that goal. You need to think in your mind that hey, that's cool. That will get me girls or guys. Blah 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 blah. I want to learn that skill. That's an awesome skill. A number one, burning desire. And it is pretty cool to be able to do it. Number two, belief that it is possible. It is because I did it and I'm going to teach you. That's number two. And I'm telling you guys, it took me years to figure this out. Years. And it would be so frustrating because I would go up to people who were really musically gifted and could hear the chords and play, but they couldn't teach it. And they're like, I don't know. I just feel it. I'm like, what? How do you just feel it? There are people who can just like, they just see musical notes and pitches as like we see colors, but I'm not that way. I'm not that way. Most people aren't. Hi, Panda. So, all right. So, number one, burning desire. Number two, belief that it's possible. Number three, pick a song you really want to play. Today we'll be playing um, um, You Should Be Sad. Is that the title? Yeah, You Should Be Sad by Halsey. It's popular. It's very popular right now, so that's what we're going to play. That's number three. Pick a song. Number four. Number four. Get a set of good headphones. Like, I love Bose headphones, but I know that they're really pricey. I think any over-ear, like I'm borrowing these from my brother. They're, called, they're Sennheisers. Anything that's an over-ear will be best for this. Um, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Actually, I'll tell you now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to tell you. Okay, so do that. And then then I'm going to stop this video. And then, you know what I'll do? I'll probably just upload them as part one, part two, part three for this Halsey song series, okay? So that's a good introduction to what we're doing. I'm going to stop this video recording. I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, and then And then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I'll see you in part two.